I am Hanis, uh, Department of Computer Application. Today, I am going to discussing the topic uh, software development life cycle. You know what is software and what is software engineering? Software means uh, the group of programs and software engineering means we know uh, it is the development of uh, software with the scientific applications and uh, uh, standards formats and all okay and uh, what is sdlc sdlc is a short form and it is actually software development life cycle that is what are the activities we are performing uh, during the software development the important activities uh, we are performing or we are doing uh, during the software development Actually, it is a life cycle. It's a cyclic process. That means uh, it is not ending. It is uh, repeating. That is after the last stage also, uh, we may come to the first stage, like a repeating process. Okay. So uh, actually, the if you are defining the SDLC, it's a framework uh, that defines the activity. Uh, framework uh, that defines the activity that are performed during the software development process. Uh, it's a formal definition if you are saying that. Okay, so let us see which are the main activities uh, we are performing uh, during SDLC, that is the software development life cycle. Okay, we can see these are the main activities uh, we are performing uh, during SDLC, that is the software development okay so actually it's a cyclic figure uh, we cannot see uh, there is no uh, correct beginning or there is no uh, correct ending we cannot see actually it says uh, because it is a cyclic process and uh, so first we can see in this uh, the if you are starting with the requirement analysis that is the first stage then uh, defining that is the defining requirements then uh, we can see the designing the software then doing the coding then doing the testing uh, then deployment and then maintenance so uh, actually it is only an outline uh, we can go through each uh, stage uh, how it is performing what are the activities we are doing during this stage okay so we can see the first stage that is the requirement analysis uh, that is uh, what are the requirements actually in software uh, what is known as the requirement the requirement means what are the things what are the functionalities that is need in the software uh, for example if you are uh, constructing a hospital software hospital management software then it has uh, it should have a lot of sessions that is uh, patient registration outpatient inpatient uh, then insurance so these all are we can see as the uh, functionalities so like all the softwares having requirements it should have requirements uh, requirements uh, we may classify into uh, functional and non-functional uh, that uh, that is uh, next class we will discuss anyway uh, anyway uh, it should have requirements okay and in the requirement analysis the developing team the software developing team collecting or gathering what are the requirements needed for the uh, software uh, actually, these uh, requirements, actually the main uh, requirement source is the customer the, uh, because he knows what are the requirements for the software. So mainly the developing team is aiming the customer for collecting the requirements. So they will make uh, some mechanisms like uh, questionnaire, interviews, conducting meetings, like things uh, through they will gather the requirements. Okay, that is the first stage, uh, the gathering the requirements according to the software's functionality. And uh, the next stage is very important, that is uh, defining requirements. 
this is the important stage because in this stage the gathering of the requirements means only uh, the rough collection of the requirements raw collection of the requirements there is not organized but in this defining requirement stage it is well organizing in this organizing stage the developing team or the requirement analyst they will uh, discuss with the customers and the stakeholders and they will finalize the requirements okay which are the requirement that is finalized that is uh, must or that is um, sure for the uh, coming software in the stage the developing team uh, they may uh, remove some requirements that is uh, if the requirements are unrealistic that is that cannot be included in the software uh, they will remove it but uh, they cannot remove their own they will consult with the customer and they will convince them after that only they will uh, remove the uh, unrealistic requirements and the customer may uh, slip some requirements uh, that is uh, actually the requirements may be necessary but customer not known about the requirements in such case also the developing uh, team the suggest that requirements to the customers and if the customer is okay then they will add those requirements also into this requirement list and after that they will prioritize the requirements prioritizing means which requirements we have to do at first uh, then which is the second and which is the third like that they will prioritize the requirements and after all these things they will prepare a document that document is known as SRS or software requirement specification if this is the final list of uh, requirements and the basic uh, tool for designing the software according to the srs actually the next stage will start that is the designing the software will start so the srs is very important and it should be clear cut and it should be accurate okay so uh, that is the end of the stage two and we are going to the stage three in the stage uh, the designing of the software once the srs is prepared According to the SRS, on the basis of SRS, the overall design of the software is going on. That means the interface designs. What are the interfaces we are needed for the software? Then uh, if you are using the database, then the database design, that is the design of the tables, uh, then their relationships, and the design and uh, for this we are uh, we will use some design tools also uh, for example the simple tool is uh, data flow diagram dfds uh, in dfds uh, we can see how the data is flowing from one point to another point uh, so uh, these like uh, or er diagrams we can use er diagrams uh, then state diagrams like all the diagrams design related diagrams we can use as the design tool for the software and the overall design uh, we will do in this and if you are doing the modular approach uh, mostly today's softwares uh, we, we are using the modular approach in this case uh, if you are following the modular approach we will do the module design individually okay each module design individually and after that we will integrate them and to make a whole design of the software anyway what all uh, what is the mechanism we are following according to this if, if you are not following the modular approach then the whole design we will follow otherwise uh, we will uh, do the individual design and integrate them into one okay uh, that is a uh, designing uh, stage of the software okay next is the uh, implementation uh, phase that is the developing the project in the implementation phase actually we are executing our design that is we are doing the necessary coding for uh, executing our design the software okay the software should be executed it should work 
okay so if, if you want to work the design according to our functionalities we should do the coding so for this uh, we will use some programming languages that is we will choose which is the appropriate relevant uh, programming language and uh, also the associated things that is if you are using any packages or any interfaces uh, or platforms all the things we will use in this and uh, by the help of all these things we will execute or we will do the implementation of the project that is actually uh, simply the implementation of the project or implementation of the software means the coding the coding process and in this case we have to follow some guidelines also actually uh, we are developing according to software engineering that's why uh, we have to use some uh, coding guidelines that is uh, what to do how to do the uh, structured coding what are the things we have to avoid and uh, we in this case uh, we have to notice uh, the main thing is uh, our coding should be simple should not be a uh, complex one or should not be a tricky one because uh, if you, any person if it is modifying we may not modifying the code if another person is modifying in that case if they are modifying uh, it should not be a difficult one according to them okay so that is regarding the uh, stage uh, 4 that is the implementation and we are moving to the stage 5 and in the stage 5 it is the testing testing of the software what is the testing actually uh, the software is considering as a product okay uh, so we uh, like other products we will do the marketing of the software also uh, so if the product is uh, apt or if it is uh, meeting the target uh, that is what all our expectations then we have to do the testing the testing means the we are checking whether the software is working properly uh, or according to our expectations okay so in the first case itself we have expectation how this software look like how it will be executed in all these things we have expectations and we are checking there is a there is a separate team we have that is a testing team so they will check whether the software is working according to the requirements so here we are performing different types of testing mechanisms uh, we are doing the unit testing unit testing means uh, uh, we are uh, checking each module whether it is uh, working or not whether uh, they are meeting their functionalities or not and integration testing that is the software is uh, uh, that is the whole the software is uh, uh, working properly or not the whole software that is the entire software that is the great integration testing and we are doing the acceptance testing it is very important that is the testing to the customer that is uh, uh, whether the requirements the what all the requirements customer said whether the software is uh, what um, satisfying or not like different testing mechanisms uh, we will do in this stage and after if it is successful if the testing is successful then only we will go to the next stage if any problems found that is errors or any anything found uh, during the testing then we will resolve it we have to that is the development team should resolve it and then again they have to submit uh, it for the testing then after that whenever it is uh, successful then only they can move to the next stage uh, so the next stage uh, we can see it is a deployment that is uh, stage six that is known as a deployment and in this stage, in the deployment stage, uh, we are uh, delivering the software, the successful working, ex uh, executing software to the customer. That is actually deployment. That means the software may work properly, efficiently, successfully in the developing environment. What we cannot uh, say or we cannot ensure whether it is working in the customer environment correctly or not if it is working in the customer environment in his configuration uh, it may be uh, making some problems it may make some problems it is quite natural so the deployment uh, means the development team they will bring the software to the customer environment and they will uh, do the installation 
they will do the complete uh, implementation of the software in the customer environment and they will check there also whether the software is working whether it is uh, doing its functionalities properly uh, any problems or any errors is uh, arising like things they will uh, clearly check and if uh, they become successful then uh, they will what uh, the deployment is successful then only we can say the deployment of the software is uh, successful in that case and uh, next stage that is the last stage of the software that is the maintenance stage 7 it is uh, the maintenance and in this stage actually the developer uh, developing team they deployed the software then there is a some uh, misunderstanding that their job is over that is not uh, their job is not over after deployment uh, if the even if the software is successfully working uh, without the errors and all bugs and all uh, if the software is successfully working then also they should have the close contact with the customer okay they should uh, clearly frequently they should interact with the customer that is any problems uh, any phases okay uh, that means uh, when the customer is working the software uh, after one month or two months they may arise the problem may arise quite natural okay uh, that is uh, if the software is uh, going in different environments the problems may arise okay so in such case uh, the development team the development team should uh, give the close support to the uh, customer in this case okay so the throughout the maintenance and the maintenance also other uh, stage of the maintenance means the modification slight modifications if the software is working by a customer is working the software and uh, he may thought that this uh, this one is good okay uh, if it is changing uh, some uh, interfaces or some cases that is good then if it is possible then they have to they will contact with the development team and the development team say okay we can do the modifications no problem small updations we can do okay then uh, like uh, enhancements also uh, we have to do in the maintenance so it is also an important thing okay uh, so these are the main stages uh, uh, we can see in the uh, whole software development uh, okay so i think uh, you understood well these things uh, then i am going to wind up